break news. Here is the headline. Tinubu should meet with Unam Dekanu in person. Lawyer reviews I public as personal misunderstood. Begs president. Tinubu should meet with Unam Dekanu in person. Lawyer reviews I public as personal misunderstood. Begs president. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news and please do draw by, like, share and subscribe. Now the details. Barista Unai Mekai G. Ejimo 4, the lawyer representing Unam Dekanu, the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra Lipo, urging him to personally meet with Kanu. In a statement titled, Why President Bola Ahmed Tinubu should meet Mazi Unam De Kanu, a Geo for highlighted the importance of direct communication between the President and Kanu. Suggesting that Kanu's persona and intentions are misunderstood by those who have not engaged with him directly. A Geoffrey recalled Tinubu's past activism, particularly his fight for democratic governance, following the annulment of the June 12 elections and his opposition to unfavorable economic policies, such as the oil subsidy under the Jonathan administration. He argued that Kanu, despite being perceived as a divisive figure due to his leadership of IPOP, shares a deep commitment to good governance equity and a corruption-free Nigeria. A Jew for emphasized that Kanu is a detribalized Nigerian who envisions a prosperous and just country and that this vision has been overshadowed by the controversies surrounding IPOP. He cited the recent meeting between Kanu and the late chief Emmanuel Iwanyowu, president of Wanese in Dibo, who was reportedly moved by Kanu's intellectual and clear dead approach to Nigerian's challenges. The lawyer urged President Tinubu to consider a private meeting with Kanu to gain first hand insight into his views on how Nigerian can progress. A Geofall also pointed out the conciliatory approach Tinubu's government has taken with other agitators like Omoye Leishowere and Sunday Bo, suggesting that a similar approach which Kanu could help end the violence in the Southeast and improve overall peace and security in the region. He concluded that Kanu's release, which has been ordered by several courts, would not only foster peace in the Southeast, but also allow the military to focus on combating banditry and terrorism in other parts of the country, thereby addressing the food insecurity and other crises affecting Nigeria. To my dear listeners, 
Now I've come to the end of our today's news. And now before I go, in contribution to the news that I've read, it is a good idea. It is a situation whereby the president meets with agitators. Having a round table with agitators does not make the president of the country stoop so low. But now that we, but now, the kind of government we have now is, they believe, they believe they are ahead of, they are ahead of everyone. And that is what the constitution we, we, we are using now, that is what is leading us into, because the president of of, of the nation, supersede is this is is the leader of everything in this country now. Sincerely, it should be done this way that the president it, himself should also have a should also have um, an organization that would also check them too. So. To what I'm saying, to, to what I was saying, considering considering dialogue, embracing them, and make them, you know, make them talk, have one-on-one -on -one talk would actually would actually help the country's um, insecurity too. Because there's no how you can say there are agitators in your in your country, and you do not allow them to talk, then definitely there will be problems. So to my dear listeners, there will definitely be a problem. So it is a good idea when the president have a talks with um, the agitators. It, it won't cost them anything as far as I'm concerned. It won't cost them anything. It will only take time. And then um, they will definitely reach agreement. And once the agreement is 